Riders line up on the grid here. Tony Cairoli up the inside. Extreme left of the picture here. Extreme right for the grid alongside him. Commander Sal and is back starting. It looked like number six of Josh Coppin. But who's it got the start? It looks like the number seven of Jonathan Barrigan possibly got a good start there as he came over. It was Jonathan Barrigan. So the Spanish crowd are going to be lit here and going to be more than excited because Jonathan Barrigan, he's our race leader at the moment, but it's tight stuff there as they come through that second turn. Right up the inside, then we've got Billy McKenzie on the CS Honda, yeah, David Villapart, Josh Coppins, as McKenzie now moves second, and forces Italian Tony Cairoli third. Oh, and another bar bashing session here from Villapart and Cairoli, and this is obviously picking up from where they left off in race one, but sorry, race two in a greater just one week ago. McKenzie and Cairoli, second and third. Cairoli's going to switch back to the inside here, gets on the go, and takes them both down, and Billy McKenzie lands on the hand. And you can see he's obviously having a go there at Tony Cairoli. Lap two of the race. And uh, a desperate Tony Cairoli there doing himself absolutely no favours at all. And taking out Billy McKenzie in the process. You could see he was trying to line himself up. But he went too square coming out of that turn. Got on the gas. Billy McKenzie was minding his own business. Was coming around the curve. And Tony Cairoli takes them both out of the race here. And uh, fortunately they're back on their bikes. But they are going to be well down the lead of all. And that was Coppins jumping short, and that allows Tony Cairoli to get the power down. Oh, wow! And that was a big move there. Tony Cairoli, he's gone down here, and you see he's got his knee trapped under that bike. He tried to find a way. You see fuel just leaking out the top of that Yamaha there, possibly from that earlier collision with Billy McKenzie on lap two. And Tony Cairoli, after doing all that hard work, getting himself into fifth place with a couple of minutes plus two laps to go. Finds himself on the dirt here in Belcouch for the second time in this 40-minute race. So Jonathan Berrigan on his way to picking up 25 points here in his home Grand Prix in Belcouch. Not to take it second in the championship. It also close down the points between himself and championship leader Tony Caroli, who's down in eighth place at the moment. His lead was about 20 seconds at one point, even going into the last lap, but he backed it off, brought it home safely on two wheels. Picks up 25 points in the process. Overhauls Kenda Dyker for second in the championship. He's not that far behind Tony Cairoli either. Head down. Who's it going to be as the gate drops here for race number two? Oh, and one of the Zuki's tried to go too early. That might have been Fabio Rizouard on the on the Valencia Suzuki, but it looks like Josh Coppins has got a hot shot here. Well, he made that good start in Portugal race two last week, and he made a good start also in Mountain And yet again, he's been overhauled already before he gets to turn two. And Jonathan Barrigan on the Silver Action KTM, the man they've all come to see here, number seven, flies into the lead going into turn three, and he nudges aside. Max Nagel on the Red Bull KTM. Billy McKenzie, another flying start here on the CAS Honda. They're in third place. Then it's the 222, all in blue, and Tony Carroll, and he does look like he's riding wounded. Then it's Josh Coppins in fifth place. Then they're down to Philippines in sixth, and Kim Dyker didn't finish race one. He's there in seventh. Purely, simply heroic effort here from Tony Cairoli, the Sicilian. Two-time Olympics, two world champion, and he got a little bit close to Max Nagel there. Nagel certainly knows that the Sicilian is there. Holds a tight line coming through this next right-hander. Tony Cairoli just has to be patient here. But surely somewhere around this lap, Max Nagel getting the hurry on here. Under the Tekka Bridge, he goes to the inside to right defensive. And Cairoli will come hot there, high and wide, try to swing around the outside. He chases his line there, got back markers ahead. This is going to get interesting here, under the Red Bull Bridge for the final time. Nagel goes inside. Cairoli has no choice but to follow him. That's Evgeny, uh, sorry, Rod Van Veypaker. Oh, the Van Beers Yamaha, number 56, just ahead of him. He moves out of the way. But there's still another back marker down there. Looks like Kevin Wirtz on the Shin Ray Honda. Number 75, and a mistake from Nagel. Doesn't quite get over the double jump. Cairoli's through. And that was all it took. Max Nagel got a panic on. He came out of that turn at the bottom of the hill. Made a mistake, didn't get the drive, almost jumped out of the circuit, and Tony Cairoli, well, he almost makes a mistake there as a back marker. Kevin Wood still holding him up here. But Tony Cairoli, well, you've got to hand it to him, he's picked himself up off the deck twice in Moto 1. Still fall back to salvage eight pace. He looks back to see Max Nagel there. Because this Kevin Woods is holding up the job here, and I think a mistake there from Max Nagel. He's going to run out of time. Just three corners to.
to go right at the top end of the circuit. Cairoli goes to the inside. Noggle. Well, there's nothing Lee can do from there. He's almost got the whole of that downhill descent. Cairoli whips it to the crowd. Flicks it through the penultimate corner. Has a quick look at his team. His big three. He bounces around going into the final corner. But Tony Cairoli will win the second moto here at the GP of Catalonia. Jonathan Berrigan will take the overall victory. Max Nagel, despite that heroic effort, he loses fourth overall. Tony Cairoli goes third overall, so no wonder Tony Cairoli was happy. He sneals, steals the uh, third and final place of the podium from Max Nagel right at the death. But number seven, Jonathan Berrigan, right for last week in Portugal, where he uh, picked up eighth and tenth. Many possibly wondered whether Berrigan had it in him to pick a victory here overall this weekend. But the silver action, KTM rider from Madrid, manages to hang on here and takes victory to add to the one he added, uh, the one he picked up, Ian Balcazwart at round four. On the podium there, third, Tony Cairoli, second, David Philippard. But the winner, number seven on the silver action, KTM taking his second overall Grand Prix win of the season. The local hero, that man there, Jonathan Berrigan, he's going to head off to Mallory Park in a couple of weekends, saying he's going to be 100% fit then. I look forward to it, I'm sure he will. It'll be interesting to see what he does there in two weeks.